it's very different. Uh, it's not different good, it's not different bad, it's just different. Um, I had 12 fantastic years at EdgeTech. Um, you know, we saw that from when I left Edge, or when I first started EdgeTech, it turned over in the, outside of North America, probably less than a million dollars. When I left, it was turning over more than $52 million. So, you know, I saw it almost from cradle to, from the, the inception of the birth to where it is now. And, you know, so it was a difficult move. However, I have to say, moving here, I feel like I've got a new breath of life, if you like. I'm, I'm, I want to come to work every morning. I'm here for half seven, eight o'clock in the morning and I live an hour away. You know, so, and I'm here till six o'clock and I live an hour away. So, you know, I, I massively enjoy what I'm doing right now. Uh, the people here are fantastic and uh, the products are great. And I'm really enthusiastic about being at Cincy and the new opportunity. So difficult and you know, it was heart wrenching to leave, but absolutely the right move for me. That's a good question because, you know, over the years I've been offered many jobs uh, with many different companies, so some good, some bad, some not so good. Uh, but um, I would say Sinseal was one of the very few people that I've always said that if they come asking, I would listen to seriously. And you know, Sinseal are in a really uh, interesting position right now. Their portfolio of products is probably better than anybody else's in the industry. Um, you know, their position in the marketplace is second to none. And, you know, the people here, I've been dealing with the people here for the past five, six years. So it wasn't like having to come and, you know, introduce myself to a new family. They were just part of my extended family previously, and now they're close family now. So that part of the move was very, very easy. And you know, again, Sinseal, it's up there. You know, they are one of the best names in the industry. Um, it gives me a chance and opportunity from a career perspective to uh, perform on the biggest stage. I and mean, I truly don't believe there's probably a bigger job in the industry than the group sales and marketing director of a company like Sinseal. You know, if you get it right, it's very public. If you get it wrong, it's very public. So a little bit of pressure there, but you know, I'm, I'm up for this. I, I chose this quite deliberately uh, over anything else. I don't think there would have been many other companies that could have got me away from EdgeTech. You know, again, it was my baby. Um, it, it was a big decision for me and for my family for me to move away. But again, absolutely the right decision. Uh, but it was made easier by the fact it was Sinsil. I think it's just the, there's the several things, aren't there? I mean, the, the amount of products they've got in their portfolio. There's four window systems. You know, there's Shield, there's Synergy, there's Legend, there's Shearframe 8000. When you look at those four uh, window systems, they're probably, since they're probably the only um, profile company which can reach just about every single fabricator in the land. You know, whether you're a commercial fabricator, we have a system for that. Whether you are a retail fabricator, we have a system for that. A trade fabricator or the, uh, a company that sells predominantly to the man in the van. We have systems that can meet uh, all of those requirements. I don't think any other profile company or any other profile house can, can achieve that. Uh, so from that perspective, you know, that makes us very different on the profile side of things. But let's remember that Profile is only actually about 35%, nearly 40% maybe, of the total turnover of Sinseal Group now. You know, Sinseal Group have grown massively in the last seven years since the management buyout. You know, seven years ago, the turnover, 80 million, something like that. Uh, next year, we're budgeted to do 150 million. You know, so that's a huge amount of growth. Seven years ago, 450 people, 500 people employed. Now, 1,200 people employed. You know, seven years ago, working from one site, we're now working from six sites, a million square, uh, square feet of manufacturing capacity. You know, it's a huge beast that has grown over the last seven years, and David Leng and his team should be applauded for that. There aren't many companies who can 
uh, sit there today and say in the probably the seven worst years that this industry has ever known, have uh, virtually doubled their turnover and grown in the same way as they have done. So again, when you go back to ask me, why did I come to Sinseal? I think that answers that question as well. A loaded question uh, in the fact that when I look at the turnover of Sinseal, it's, it's very, very diverse. I mean, four years ago, we didn't own a glass company. We now turn over 25 million pounds worth of glass a year. You know, so when you look at that in itself, you say that's a very, impart, uh, very important part of what we do. When you look at the, uh, the core product, the core product being our, um, our fabricated products and our extrusion products, uh, between the two of them, again, probably 80, 90 million pounds worth of products. So they're all equally as important. However, how do I see the growth going forward? We look at products like Warmcore. Warmcore in the last 18 months have gone from a stand, uh, stand start, standing start to next year they're budgeted to do more than 12 and a half million pounds worth of turnover. A phenomenal uh, growth period in a very short period of time. You know, we're going to be launching the Warmcore window system at the Fit Show, but the interest pre-Fit Show is huge. We have something like 14 launch partners because everybody wanted to be the first and I didn't want to, be, to disappoint them all, so I made them launch partners. But all of those things are really important to us. Uh, the door side of things, when we bought Masterdoor uh, last year, Masterdoor was doing probably circular 350 doors a week. We've invested more than 1.5 million pounds in Masterdoor, so we can now turn over 30 million um, pounds worth of doors per year. And we're already up that next year again, just finish the budgets, uh, we'll be doing about 16, 17 million pounds worth of doors. So when you look at the growth, the growth is coming from glass, it's coming from warm core, it's coming from fabricated products, it's coming from doors. Uh, it's a really exciting time. So it's difficult for me to say to you, one product's more important than the other, because they're all equally as important. I think what's important is that we'll be able to give our customers uh, the widest range of products anywhere in the marketplace, competitively priced, highest quality, and it gives them opportunities for them to sell more, where, which will help them to develop their businesses and we can develop with them. We can talk about them. Uh, it's the Fit Show, um, as much as I, uh, I've tried to get Matthew to push it back to July, it was having none of it. Um, we've got two launches at the Fit Show and we're pre previewing two new products. Uh, so um, the two launches that we got are the Warm Core Window, uh, which is much anticipated. Uh, as I said previously, uh, a huge amount of interest in. And we're also launching the Craftsman Door, the Master Door Craftsman Door, which is a solid timber door, which again has already got a huge amount of interest there. This is a solid timber door uh, with a, um, a timber skin where she's painted. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I really think from the interest we've seen so far, I think that will go down a storm at the Fit Show. Uh, we're also going to preview, not launch, but preview a new uh, lantern roof, uh, which is a fully thermally broken uh, lantern, uh, the first of its type in the marketplace. Uh, that should be ready for market probably June, July time, but we wanted to preview it anyway. And we've also got some interesting stuff going on uh, on the new Celsius, Celsius rigid roof. Uh, so um, you can come and have a look at that on the stand as well. So lots and lots going on. Um, maybe a little bit too much sometimes, that's how it feels right now, but to be fair, it's a great opportunity to show all of our products. We've got the largest stand at Fit Show, um, and we're really looking forward to getting, getting there and showing uh, everybody what we've been up to. At EdgeTech, I was... Uh, I was in charge of obviously all of it. You know, it was the sales and marketing was down to myself. I was also responsible for operational, financial, and all of those other things. Um, with obviously with um, with Sinseal, I'm it's it, it's group sales and marketing. 
But that's not to say I don't get involved in just about every other aspect of the business as well. You know, there's a great, great group and very experienced group of uh, directors here and we meet regularly to discuss the business and uh, how we can improve the business and you know, the, the strategy to move forward. Uh, with EdgeTech it was more, uh, obviously being an American company, uh, it was very, um, not political, that's not the right word, but it was a PLC. And when you live in the PLC world, it's a PLC world. Uh, here, uh, if a decision needs to be made, it gets made very quickly by a very small number of people. Uh, so that's a, that's a huge difference and something that I actually really enjoy uh, because it reminds me of how EdgeTech was before the PLC world. You know, if a decision needed to be made, it was made quickly. Uh, and that's not being derogatory to EdgeTech in any way, sh or shape or form. It's just, again, as I said right at the beginning, just very different. I believe that Sinseal are a £200 million company and I think we can achieve that within, inside three to five years. So that's a huge amount of growth. We're going to grow next year by 15%. Uh, when you're the size that we are, 15% growth, that's, that's quite large. Uh, but we've got the product portfolio to do it. And you know, when, if you look at where we're positioned on, in the marketplace, whether it be on profiles where we've got, I don't know, 15, 16 percent of the market share, whether it be on conservative roofs where we've got 50 percent plus the market share, uh, where you look at glass where we're doing 30,000 sealed units a week, which puts us in the top five in the UK. Uh, on all of those products, you know, I truly believe we can become market leaders. And when I look at them at Warm Core, uh, when I look at the Master Door uh, range, I think you know my aspiration is to become market leader in everything that we sell. You know, so that long-term goal is to make sure that Sinseal Group are the number one choice for anything to do with fenestration. So whether that be windows, doors, aluminium, whatever, I want to be number one. Why be number two? I think consolidation is inevitable. But at the same time, you're saying there's too many. If you go to somewhere like Poland, there's 55 of them over there. You know, so you know, because of my background at EdgeTech, I've been exposed to that European and global marketplace. I don't really accept that there's too many here in the UK. Who's going to drop out? You know, they're all big players. Uh, Etwin have gone PLC, USL PLC. Uh, the Vikas and the Rayos and De Koenigs are global players. Um, since they are probably the only true independent left uh, outside of Selector, uh, who don't have any real size in the UK. So we're the last truly independent large player. So I don't see anybody dropping out. So I think that we will continue to uh, look at our markets. And that's one of, one of the reasons that the strategy for Sinseal isn't solely based upon extrusion. You know, for us to grow the business, uh, if it was just extrusion based, it would mean you've got to take business from everybody else, which is fine. And we do that on a regular basis. But I don't think you can build a business plan on one, on, on one product and get it to where we want it to be. You know, for us to grow our business by 50 million pounds uh, in extrusion, we would have to double our extrusion. One, we haven't got the capacity, and two, that's an awful lot of extrusion. Uh, so, you know, I think that our strategy of diversification uh, is the correct, uh, correct strategy. But do I think anyone will pull out of the UK? Do I think that anyone will go bust? No, I don't. Uh, I really don't. I think the people who are here now are committed now. That might not have been the case a few years ago, but they are now committed. So I just don't see any of them pulling out. and I don't see any of them going bust. And to be fair, they are worthy competitors. And most of the people who are out there do what they do and they do it well. Uh, the stand is in all one. Uh, it's stand number 348. Uh, it's the largest stand at the fit show. Uh, we're showing all of the products, major emphasis on warm core, but you'll also see warm core in a slightly unusual uh, space. Just as you walk through the doors 
On the left hand side you'll see a beautiful white Lamborghini uh, with warm core up the doors of it. It's orange and uh, dark grey on the inside uh, with a very attractive girl selling you raffle tickets. Please buy some for a great cause, gym fundraising. Uh, the winner can get a race day but um, we thought it'd be a little bit of fun, a little bit of interest get the name out there but at the same time raise money for a very very worthy cause so uh, anybody who's watching this please bring your wallets with you um, have your photograph taken with a, a superb looking car and a very attractive young lady as well uh, so uh, please give generously it's for a great cause rugby beach <laughs> Prefer pie, unfortunately salad. As we discussed before, you can't offend by wearing a tie, uh, but you can offend by not wearing a tie, so I would say tie. I would go oranges. Definitely can't Par five, I can smash it long, I can't eat anything short.